Hi friends. Next video from Dhruva Entertainment and Vidu Classes. Friends, that is life cycle, sorry, structure and life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoides. Friends, this is a detailed structure and life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoides. Friends, See what is Ascaris lumbricoides? You know, friends, Ascaris lumbricoides is a parasite. It is generally called as a roundworm or common roundworm. It lives in the intestine of man. It is a nematode, means belongs to phylum Nematelminthes. It has pseudocelum, means it is a pseudocelomate. It is unisexual animal. It exhibits sexual dimorphism. You know all these things, friends. Now we'll go in detail. Okay, friends. What about structure and life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoides? Okay, friends. Now you see, friends. See Ascaris lumbricoides. It is commonly called as roundworm or common roundworm, friends. Roundworm or common roundworm. It is common enteric parasite, friends important word enteric parasite or enterozoic parasite what is enteric parasite friends parasite that lives in the intestine of the host is called as enteric parasite or enterozoic parasite friends a parasite is the host yokka pegu lo nivishistundo intestine lo nivishistundo danni em antam friends manam enteric parasite or enterozoic parasite antam this is for neat and m set friends yellowish one is for neat and m set okay friends now next point it is a monogenetic parasite another important definition friends monogenetic parasite means what friends parasite which has one host or a parasite which completes its life cycle in one host is called as monogenetic parasite and friends a parasite aithe tana jeevita chakraanni tana life cycle ni ఒకటే హోస్ట్లో పూర్తి చేస్తుందో లేదా ఏ పారాసైట్ అయితే ఒకటే హోస్ట్ని కలిగి ఉంటుందో దాన్ని ఏమంటాం ఫ్రెండ్స్ మనం మోనోజెనటిక్ పారాసైట్ అంటాం సో ఎంత సారీ యాస్కారిస్ లుమ్రికాడిస్ ఈజ్ ఏ మోనోజెనటిక్ పారాసైట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ హోస్ట్ హూ ఈస్ దట్ హోస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ మ్యాన్ ఓన్లీ యాస్కారిస్ లుమ్రికాడిస్ లీవ్స్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ ద మ్యాన్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ నో అదర్ హోస్ట్ because of that we are calling it as monogenetic parasite friends how many host has it it has only one host who is that that is man okay friends now it lives in the intestine of man friends it lives in the intestine of man but here is more important one friends this is more in children ascaris lumbricoides are present more in children friends okay next it is a pseudo coelomate you know friends ascaris lumbricoides belongs to phylum nematelminthes all nematodes are what friends pseudo coelomates they have pseudo coelom animals which have pseudo coelom are called as pseudo coelomates and friends ascaris lumbricoides lo unde coelom ne untunnam manam pseudo coelom antunnam friends so it is a pseudo coelomate next friends is a dimorphic animal friends another important point dimorphic di means two morph means forms ascaris lumbricoides has two forms friends male form and female form we can easily identify the male and female animals so because it has two forms like human beings for example you see friends human beings are also having the two forms male form and female form you can easily identify the male and female so it is a dimorphic animal see friends di means two morph means forms means it has two forms what is the difference that is male and female animals that is male and female animals next friends it is unisexual animal friends it is unisexual animal means what friends male and female reproductive organs are present in different animals male ascaris has male reproductive organs female ascaris has female reproductive organs so it is unisexual animal friends unisexual animals are also called as dioecious friends di means two ecious means house you know it friends means male reproductive organs are present in male animal female reproductive organs are present in female animal so unisexual animals are also called as 
dioecious friends dioecious okay friends now come to the important point friends what are the infective stages of the ascaris infective stage of the ascaris called as friends second stage rhabditi form larva friends what is the infective stage the stage which enters into the new host is called as infective stage friends infective stage ante enti friends kotta aatidevuliki kotta host loki enter ayye stage ne untam friends manam infective stage antam so ascaris lumbricoides lo various stages untayi but anni stages kotta host loki enter kavu friends okate stage enter avutundi aa stage ne untunna manam second stage rhabditi form larva so what is the infective stage of ascaris that is very very important friend what friends second stage rhabditi form larva is the infective stage of ascaris lumbricoides this second stage rhabditi form larva is an embryonated egg friends means inside the egg there is an embryo the second stage rhabditi form larva this larva is present inside the egg so because of that it is also called as embryonated egg so what is the infective stage of ascaris second stage rhabditi form larva what is its another name embryonated egg or ovic egg okay friends now come to the mode of infection ascaris mode of infection is what friends contamination so con- through contaminated food through contaminated water through contaminated vegetables through contaminated soil it enters into the new host so what is the mode of infection friends contamination okay friends now come to the structure of ascaris friends ascaris structure very very important and very very easy friends first you see the image friends how it is see friends this is ascaris see friends this is male this is female male is shorter than the female female is longer than the male male has curved posterior and curved tail female has straight tail male has cloaca female has anus see friends here we have anus male has pineal setae these pineal setae are absent in the female okay friends next both male and female have mouth at their anterior end mouth is surrounded by three lips friends three lips those lips are made up of chitin so three chitinous lips below the mouth what is there friends see friends both male and female have excretory pore next friends see female has extra opening that is female genital aperture or vulva okay friends you see the diagram you see the image you will get an idea now we'll go to the structure of ascaris okay friends see friends ascaris has elongated cylindrical body friends it has elongated sorry elongated cylindrical body and friends it is poduga stupakaranga unde oka dehanni kaligi untundi it is unisexual and mal sexes are separate manam entha mundu cheptunna friends idi ekalinga jeevi deenlo stree purusha pratyutpatti avevalu ver ver jeevulalla untayi it is unisexual and mal and sexes are separate next friends it exhibits sexual dimorphism friends it exhibits sexual dimorphism just now i told what is sexual dimorphism you can easily identify the male animal and female female animal that is called as sexual dimorphism friends now come to the correct definition see friends identification of male and female animals by seeing their external characters is called as sexual dimorphism and friends identification of male and female animals by seeing their external characters is called as sexual dimorphism means they have sexually two forms male form and female form such type of animals are called what friends sexual dimorphism okay friends that is called as sexual dimorphism so ascaris is an unisexual animal it exhibits sexual dimorphism see friends now similarities in male and female ascaris first we will see the similarities means what are the similarities both male and females have mouth at their anterior end mouth is present in both male and female ascaris friends that's a similarity second friends mouth is surrounded by three chitinous lips and friends both male and female have mouth at their anterior end renditlalo mouth undi friends 
మౌతు చుట్టూ ఎవరున్నారు ఫ్రెండ్స్ మూడు కైటిన స్లిప్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఒక్కొక్క మౌతు చుట్టూ మూడు కైటిన స్లిప్స్ ఉంటాయి మనకు రెండే ఉంటాయి ఫ్రెండ్స్ సో మౌత్ ఈజ్ సరౌండ్ బై లిప్స్ దోస్ లిప్స్ ఆర్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ కైటిన్ సో మౌత్ ఈజ్ సరౌండ్ బై త్రీ కైటిన స్లిప్స్ త్రీ కైటిన స్లిప్స్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అనదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎక్స్క్రెటరీ పోర్ ఈజ్ ప్రజెంట్ క్లోజ్ టు ద మౌత్ అన్ ద మిడ్ వెంటల్ సైడ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ నీట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎక్స్క్రెటరీ పోర్ ఈజ్ ప్రజెంట్ ఆన్ ద is present near to whom friends is present near to the mouth see friends in both males and females this is excretory pore it is present near to the mouth it is present on the mid ventral side excretory pore is present on the mid ventral side it is present nearer to the mouth in both males and females okay friends now come to the differences friends once again you see the similarities friends both male and female ascaris have mouth at their anterior end mouth is surrounded by three chitinous lips next friends excretory pore is present close to the mouth on the mid ventral side that is the similarities now come to the differences between male and female ascaris okay friends now see friends size మేల్ ఈ షార్ప్టర్ దెన్ ది ఫీమేల్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ యాస్కారిస్లో ఎల్లప్పుడూ మేల్స్ చిన్నవిగా ఉంటాయి మేల్ ఈ షార్ప్టర్ దెన్ ది ఫీమేల్ ఎప్పుడైతే మేల్ షార్ట్గా ఉంటుంది ఫీమేల్ పెద్దగా ఉంటుంది ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫీమేల్ ఈజ్ లాంగర్ దెన్ ది మేల్ నో సీ ద సైజ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ది మేల్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ టు థర్టీ సెంటీమీటర్స్ ఇన్ లెంత్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫీమేల్ ట్వంటీ టు ఫార్టీ సెంటీమీటర్స్ ఇన్ లెంత్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఏది పెద్దగా ఉంది ఫీమేల్ పెద్దగా ఉంది మేల్ చిన్నగా ఉంది ఓకే ఫ్రెండ్స్ నా వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మేల్ హ్యాస్ కర్వ్డ్ టైల్ ఫీమేల్ హ్యాస్ స్ట్రైట్ టైల్ సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ సీ హియర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ మేల్ హ్యాస్ కర్వ్డ్ టైల్ ఫీమేల్ హ్యాస్ స్ట్రైట్ టైల్ మేల్ హ్యాస్ క్లోయకా ఫీమేల్ హ్యాస్ యానస్ పీనియల్ సిటీ ఆర్ ప్రజెంట్ పీనియల్ సిటీ ఆర్ ఆబ్సెంట్ you have to write all these differences friends okay now once again see the difference friends male has curved tail female has straight tail straight tail see friends male has cloaca at its posterior end males lo em untundi friends cloaca untundi females lo evaru untaru friends female has anus at its posterior end friends here i have not given the definition of cloaca and anus but you know it what is cloaca and what is anus anus is an opening through which undigested waste materials are sending out friends anus ante enti friends idi digestive canal chivara unde oka opening deeni dwara only undigested waste material ante enti friends fecal matter maatrame baitiki pampichabadutundi anus is an opening through which only undigested waste material or fecal matter is sending out but come to cloaca friends cloaca is an opening through which undigested waste material as well as reproductive cells also sending out that is called as cloaca It means what friends cloaca performs two functions one is it sends out undigested waste material and also reproductive cells It means that is gametes such opening is called as cloaca male has cloaca female has anus very very important friends male ascaris has cloaca at its posterior end female ascaris has anus at its posterior end see friends now come to female genital pore see friends female genital pore is present only in the females see friends here i have given dash female genital pore it is also called as vulva friends vulva female genital pore female gonopore or vulva is present on the mid ventral side at about 1 3 length of the 1 3 length from the mouth see friends it is also present on the mid ventral side see friends at about 1 3 length from the mouth this is female genital aperture female genital pore female gonopore or vulva it is present only in the male sorry females friends it is present only in the females now you see the number of openings friends see friends male has three openings mouth excretory pore and cloaca male has only three opening friends what are they mouth number 1 
नंबर टू एक्सक्रिटरी पोर नंबर थ्री क्लोएका फ्रेंड्स फीमेल हैज फोर ओपनिंग फ्रेंड्स वॉट आर दे माउथ एक्सक्रिटरी फोर फीमेल जेंटल अपर्चर एंड एनस being a biologist you must do know must know the number of openings in ascaris male and female male has only three openings they are mouth excretory pore and cloaca female has four openings what are the friends mouth excretory pore female genital pore and anus okay friends next another important points penile spicules a pair of equal chitinous penial spicules friends very very important male ascaris has one pair of penial spicules they are made up of chitin they are equal in size why here i am stressing equal friends we have uchreria bancrofti also in our syllabus uchreria bancrofti male has one pair of chitinous penial spicules they are unequal in size friends this is neat and m set this is for neat and m set the number of penial spicules in both Ascaris and Wuchereria are one pair, but in Wuchereria they are unequal in size. In Ascaris they are equal in size. See friends, a pair of equal chitinous penial spicules are present at cloaca. Penial spicules are also called as penial setae or capillary spicules. Friends, what is the function of penial spicules? These penial spicules help in the transfer of sperms from male to female or helps in the copulation see friends here you have to see the penile spicules see friends it is these are what friends penile setae or penile spicules they are present only in the male they are not present in the female penile spicules are also called as penile setae or capillary setae how many are there in the ascaris one pair what is their size are they equal or unequal in size equal in size what about uchere area in uchere area they are an equal in size okay friends now see friends number of openings male has three openings what are they friends they are mouth excretory pore and cloaca female has four openings they are mouth excretory pore female genital pore and anus okay friends now once again you see the image friends this is male ascaris this is female ascaris okay friends so this is male and this is female once again so these friends this is male this is female now come to life cycle life cycle of ascaris friends life cycle of ascaris ascaris lives in the small intestine of man you know it friends it is an enterozoic parasite it lives in the small intestine of man both male and female are present in the small intestine man of man once you see this image friends see friends how many ascaris are in the small intestine man so many ascaris are there so many ascaris are there in the small intestine of man so ascaris lives in the small intestine of man friends okay male and female worms worms means ascaris which is a round worm copulates in the intestine of man copulation takes place in the small intestine of man both male and female ascaris copulates in the intestine of man fertilization is internal friends neat question friends fertilization is internal after copulation see friends female ascaris releases about 2 lakh eggs per day friends this is very very important after copulation female ascaris is releasing approximately about how many eggs friends 2 lakh eggs per day friends oka female ascaris roju ki 2 lakshala andalu eggs vidudala chestu approximately how many eggs friends 2 lakh eggs per day yes friends these eggs you may call them as zygotes friends of ascaris are called mammillated eggs very 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 important the eggs of ascaris are called as mammillated eggs 
the eggs of ascaris are called as what friends mammillated eggs friends you have a two marks question what are mammillated eggs okay friends mammillated eggs are covered by three layers friends mammillated eggs are covered by what friends three layers what are those three layers their outer layer middle layer and inner layer friends the outer layer is called as what friends protein layer or protein coat or protein membrane friends layer coat membrane all are same friends the outer layer is protein coat friends here you have to remember once again neat question what type of protein it is it is albuminous layer it has albumin the outer layer is protein layer or it is albumin layer this albumin layer has what friends rippled surface or wave like surface the outer layer has what friends see here friends see here see friends this is outer layer it is wavy like or ripple like the eggs with rippled surface or called what friends mammillated eggs so the outer protein coat the outer albuminous coat is wavy like or rippled like such type of eggs are called what friends mammillated eggs okay friends no come to the middle layer middle layer is chitinous layer or it is chitinous shell out of these three layers the thick layer is the middle layer friends this is also neat question friends mc question the thick layer is what friends middle layer that is chitinous layer now come to the inner layer friends inner layer is what friends lipid layer so here you have to remember three layers what are they friends pcl p stands for protein outer c stands for chitinous l stands for lipid from outer to inner friends from inner to outer lipid chitinous and protein what type of protein it is albuminous out of these three layers which one is the thickest layer that is a middle layer why we are calling these eggs as mammillated eggs the outer protein coat has rippled surface or wavy like surface now see friends the eggs with outer protein coat with a rippled surface or wave like surface are called mammillated eggs very very important friends you have a two marks question what are mammillated eggs the eggs with outer protein coat with rippled surface either you have to write rippled surface or wave like friends wave like surface are called mammillated eggs or eggs of the ascaris are mammillated eggs okay friends see friends what is the meaning of the mammillated mammillated means swelling or wave like or small protuberance you have to remember it friends you have to know the meaning of the mammillated mammillated means wave like or swelling or small protuberance now you see the eggs of ascaris friends these are the mammillated eggs the outer albuminous coat middle thick chitinous coat inner lipid coat this is what friends mammillated eggs see friends this is actual real egg friends this is the real egg of the ascaris you have to see it okay now female ascaris releases 2 lakhs eggs per day we are calling those eggs as mammillated eggs okay friends female ascaris release those eggs these eggs into the intestine of man these eggs through the fecal matter of the man see friends these eggs come out with the fecal matter ee eggs bite ketlo sir friends host nundi aa man nundi man yokka fecal matter dwara bite kostunnayi the development of eggs started in the moist soil once again need question friends see these eggs are coming out or released out from the ascaris through the intestine of man the development starts in the moist soil in the moist soil if they are released into the dry soil their matter entrants if they are released into the moist soil they development start so the development of ascaris x started in the moist soil what type of cleavage it has friends it is not there in textbook but you have to remember friends the cleavage is spiral and determinate the cleavage is what friends spiral and determinate type of cleavage is present in ascaris the first development stage is called first stage larva or first stage rhabditi form larva friends when the eggs are released into the moist soil development start friends 
due to this development inside the egg an embryo or a first stage is formed that stage is called as what friends the first development stage of asker is called first stage larva or first stage rabidity form larva first stage rabidity form larva here you remember rabidity form larva friends first stage rabidity form larva second stage rabidity form larva third stage rabidity form larva fourth stage rabidity form larva so the larva of the ascaris is called as rabidity form larva but it has four stages friends first stage rabidity form larva second stage rabidity form larva third stage rabidity form larva and fourth stage rabidity form larva here the first stage rabidity form larva is present in the egg where when they are present in the moist soil first stage rabidity form larva it is present in the moist soil so where do we have or where the ascaris has first stage rabidity form larva it is present in the moist soil next friends this first stage rabidity form larva undergoes first molting and transform into second stage rabidity form larva friends here there is one more important word molting molting is also called as egg diesis molting means what friends shedding of exoskeleton friends molting name on nirmochanam antam molting and end friends by asthi panjara nu odi pettadani mana molting antam friends in the life history of ascaris there are four moltings first molting second molting third molting fourth molting due to this molting what happen friends development uh, in, uh, ascaris increases in size so how many moltings are there in the life cycle of ascaris four moltings but these four moltings take place it is various parts of the body of the human being or in the soil so first molting takes place where friends in the soil first stage rabidity form larva undergoes first molting and transform into second stage rabidity form larva so what is the difference between first stage rabidity form larva and second stage rabidity form larva you know friends first stage rabidity form larva is present in the moist soil it undergoes first molting who is undergoing first molting first stage rabidity form larva is undergoing first molting because of that we are getting second stage rabidity form larva due to first stage first molting first stage rabidity form larva is changing into second stage rabidity form larva this happens in the moist soil friends this happens in the moist soil see friends first stage rabidity form larva undergoes first molting in the soil it changes into what friends second stage rabidity form larva see friends first stage rabidity form larva undergoes first molting in the soil and changes into what friends second stage rabidity form larva okay now come to the infection to the host how it infects the new host friends how it enters into the new host see friends mode of infection you know it contamination friends either contamination of water contamination of fruits vegetables contamination of fruit or contamination of food or contamination of soil for example see friends it is present more in the children because the children place in the soil the soil is infected by these eggs or this contaminated ascaris so because of that children have more ascaris so mode of infection is contamination very very important you know it what is the second stage what is the infective stage second stage rabidity form larva is infective stage of ascaris first stage rabidity form larva undergoes molting and changes into second stage rabidity form larva that second stage rabidity form larva is the infective stage of ascaris see friends along with contaminated food this second stage rabidity form larva enters into the reaches the intestine of man that is new host friends who is which stage of the ascaris is entering into the new host that is second stage of rabidity form larva because of that we are calling it is as infective stage how it is entering into our body through contaminated food through contaminated water see along with contaminated food second stage rabidity form larva reaches the intestine of man or intestine of a new host 
Now, go, friend. Now it is present in the intestine of man. Now, what happened, friends? By the action of the digestive juice of the host. Here, who is host? Man, friends. Our digestive juice. It may be intestinal juice. It may be bile juice. It may be pancreatic juice. By the action of the digestive, our digestive has enzymes, friends. By the action of the digestive of the host, the layers of the mammillated egg get dissolved, friends. Egg is surrounded by three layers. Those three layers are digested or dissolved by whom, friends? By the action of the digestive enzymes of the man. Now, what happened, friends? The second stage that we form larva is released. Up to now, where is it, friends? It is present inside the egg only. When the second stage that we form larva, along with three layers, when it enters into the our body, due to the action of digestion of man, the layers are get dissolved. You can even, friends, but the second stage that we form larva, cut the host loop chair in the. Cut the host of the digestive enzymes, valla, digestive juices, valla, even, friends. A rapti form larva chutuna mood layers, rapti form larva ekadun friends, egg gulone undi, egg gun chutu mood parlone, mammillated egg chutti, protein coat, chitinous coat, and lipid coat. E mood parlo karigin sabartai friends. Pate of ever cherry valla, human yaka, host yaka, digestive engines valla. E put even friends, rapti form larva free ga, free a indi. Now it comes out from the egg into the intestine of man. See friends, by the action of the digestive juice of host, the layers, what are the layers, friends? Protein, chitinous, and lipid layers of the mammillated eggs get dissolved. Carrying up die, friends. If you have friends, and second stage rapti form larva is released. Egg going to bite question, friends. Now, friends, very, very important. This second stage rapti form larva undergoes extra intestinal migration. Friends, my first check at Cochin, my pay will look at the intestine look at the first touch in the friends good to bed quality. Through mammillated eggs, through infection, the rapti form larva enters into our intestine. Now, what happened, friends? The second stage rapti form larva undergoes extra intestinal migration. Mali, my pay will look at the friends. Will be pretty, my body will look at any parts look at the root on the three mali pay will look at the so, who is showing extra intestinal migration? The second stage diabetic form larva undergoes extra intestinal migration. Friends, extra intestinal migration. Extra means outside, outside the intestine. Migration means moving or release, sorry, circulating. Now, see extra intestinal migration. What is the definition, friends? Migration of diabetic form larva outside the intestine. Passing through liver, heart, and lungs is called extra intestinal migration. See, friends, migration of rabbitry form larva outside the intestine. Friends, rabbitry form larva migration migrate out in friends. Ekada intestine baita. Ekada ekada both in friends are the liver lo keltundi, heart lo keltundi. Lungs will local to the Malli Chivarki intestine local hosting friends. That is called as extra intestinal migration. One second, friends. Migration of rabbit form larva outside the intestine passing through liver, heart, and lungs is called extra intestinal migration. Then, what is the use of extra intestinal migration? During this migration, friends, it increases in size by molding and return to the intestine and transform into adult. Once again, see friends, this migration will allow you friends, and size will grow. Then, this migration will allow you to increase the molting. Once again, friends, once again, it enters into the intestine. So, during this migration, it increases in size. It means what, friends? Rabbit form larva increases in size by molting. It undergoes three more molting, friends. And return to whom, friends? Return to the intestine. Then it changes into adult. Okay, friends. Now see, friends. In this migration, in this migration means in the extra intestinal migration. In the Gurtu Vet call, friends, this is very, very important. First, it means type T form larva reaches from small intestine to the liver through hepatic portal vein. Friends, first, it leaves the small intestine 
and reaches the liver. In between these two, there are blood vessels. What are they veins? They are hepatic portal veins. See friends, for a small intestine, it reaches to the liver. Through which blood vessels? Hepatic portal veins. Friends, you know the veins. Veins carry blood from body parts to the heart. Here, hepatic portal vein carries blood from small intestine to liver. Through those blood vessels, this larvae reaches to the liver from small intestine. Once again, friends, first it reaches from small intestine to the liver. It means what, friends? Raptiform larva. First it enters into the liver. Through what, friends? Through which blood vessels? Hepatic portal vein. Hepatic portal vein. See, friends, small intestine to liver. In between what, friends? What are the blood vessels? Hepatic portal vein. Next, friends, second. From liver, it reaches the heart through post cabal vein. One more blood vessel, friends. Intestine to liver, friends. Liver to heart. Intestine to liver through hepatic portal vein. Liver to heart through post cabal vein. See, friends, liver and the creature in friend, heart look here in the A blood vessels vara, post cabal vein vara. From liver, it reaches, it means what, friends, rhabdiform larva reaches the heart through post cabal vein. See, friends, liver, heart, in between these two, what are they, friends? What are the blood vessels? Post cabal vein. Okay, friends. Now, from heart, next stage, friends, from heart, it reaches to the lungs. Heart and decade, friends, lungs low, through pulmonary artery. You know, friends, pulmonary artery carries impure blood from heart to lungs. So, from heart, it reaches, it means what? Raptiform larva reaches to the lungs through pulmonary artery. See, friends, heart to lungs through pulmonary artery. Here, friends, you have to write lungs or alveoli. What are alveoli? Alveoli are the units of the lungs. Each lung has nearly 7 million alveoli, friends. They are the honeycomb-like structures in which exchange of respiratory gases takes place. So, you have to write alveoli or you have to write lungs. Okay, friends. Now, very, very important, friends. In the alveoli of lungs, second stage raptiform larva undergoes two moldings, friends. That is second and third moldings. Friends, first molding takes place in the soil. Due to first molding, the first stage raptiform larva changes into second stage raptiform larva. The second stage raptiform larva was the infective stage. It enters into the intestine. After entering into the intestine, it lost its layers and it shows extra intestinal migration. During that extra intestinal migration, it enters into the liver first, liver to heart, heart to lungs. In the lungs, it undergoes two more moldings. That is second molding and third molding. See friends, second and third moldings takes place in the lungs or in the alveoli. You have to remember it. See friends, it undergoes second molding and produces third stage raptiform larva. Friends, due to second molding, the resultant raptiform larva is called as third stage raptiform larva. It undergoes second molding and produces third stage raptiform larva. Next friends, then it undergoes third molding and produces fourth stage raptiform larva. See friends, second stage raptiform larva undergoes second molting and changes into third stage raptiform larva. Third stage raptiform larva undergoes third molting and changes into fourth stage raptiform larva. Okay friends, now this fourth stage raptiform larva leaves the alveoli of lungs and again reaches the small intestine. This fourth stage raptiform larva leaves the alveoli of lungs and again reaches the intestine, friends. But in this time, it has to travel so many parts. What are those parts? See, friends, from lungs it enters the branchioles. Branchioles are the part of the lungs. Bronchi, trachea, larynx, Gullet, 
pharynx, esophagus, stomach and small intestine. See friends, once again, from alveoli or from lungs, from it, the fourth stage that we form larva, first it enters into the bronchioles. Bronchioles to bronchi, bronchi to trachea, trachea to larynx, larynx to gullet, gullet to pharynx, pharynx to esophagus, esophagus to stomach, stomach to once again small intestine. Okay friends, this is the momentum of the or pathway of the fourth stage the aptitude form larva from lungs to small intestine. Okay friends, now see friends, in the small intestine, the fourth stage the aptitude form larva undergoes fourth molting. See friends, first molting takes place in the soil, second and third molting takes place in the alveoli or in the lungs, fourth molting takes place in the intestine when the larvae enters into the second time. So, in the small intestine, fourth stage raptive form larva undergoes fourth molding and become an adult within 8 to 10 weeks, friends. So, after fourth molding, as carry change into adult, for that it requires 8 to 10 weeks of time. The fourth molding takes place in the small intestine of man after completion of the extra intestinal migration. Okay friends, that is about the structure of the ascaris. Okay friends, now come to the pathogenicity. What is pathogenicity means? This is causing characters. Okay friends, this is caused by ascaris is called as ascariasis friends. Ascariasis. Symptoms of ascariasis friends. Stunted growth in children, friends. There is no growth. If children have ascariasis, there is no growth. Stunted growth. Varlo perugudala undadu, friends. Pillalala perugudala undadu. Abdominal pain, kadupunuppi, friends. Thivramayana kadupunuppi. Nutritional deficiency. What are they, friends? Anemia, friends. Rakta hinathandam. They don't have sufficient hemoglobin. They don't have sufficient blood cells red blood cells that's called anemia internal bleeding body local bleeding out in friends mesclorphin fever next blockage of the intestinal passage due to presence of more ascaris see friends if you see this image you will get an idea see friends if ascaris are present in the intestine like this where is the passage for the food so they are blocking the intestinal passage so passage of so blockage of see friends Blockage of the intestinal passage. Next, friends. Larva cause pneumonia when they were in the lungs, friends. See one more important one, friends. These are not the textbook, friends. When the larvae are present in the lungs, they cause a disease. That is called as what, friends? Pneumonia. Friends, very, very important. Very, very important. Heavy infection causes ascariasis. When a patient has more number of ascaris in the intestine, then only that patient gets ascariasis. Then only the patient shows these symptoms. If he has only minimum or less infection, he won't show this disease. But he acts as a symptomatic carrier. See friends, ascaris is asymptomatic if the number of worms is less. If the number of worms are less, in a human being, he acts as what friends? Asymptomatic. Means he won't show any characters, but he transfers, he infects other persons. Such type of persons are called as asymptomatic. So when the when a person has low infection or less number of forms, 
you act as what friends asymptomatic okay friends now see the extra intestinal migration friends see friends mammillated eggs in the moist soil development start then first stage adaptive form larva it undergoes first molting in the soil then it forms when due to first molting it gives what friends see friends second stage adaptive form larva this is the infective stage it is present inside the egg this second stage adaptive form larva it reaches a new host by contamination friends no you know it what is the infective process of mode of infection contamination see friends by the action of the digestive juice of new host the layers of the mammillated eggs get dissolved and second stage adaptive form larva is released or shall get dissolved in the small intestine by the action of the digestive juice of the new host what happened friends the layers which are present around the adaptive form larva or mammillated eggs are dissolved and the second stage adaptive form larva is released okay friends now see friends it shows extra intestinal migration from intestine it is to what friends hepatic portal vein hepatic portal vein to liver liver to see friends post caval vein post caval vein to heart friends here you remember it for neat and answer question our heart has four chambers to which chamber it enters it enters into the right auricle friends right auricle or right atrium okay friends from heart it reaches to the pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery it reaches to what friends lungs or alveoli in the lungs or alveoli it undergoes second and third moldings okay friends second molding in the lungs gives rise to third stage adaptive form larva it undergoes third molding and gives rise to fourth stage adaptive form larva see friends this fourth stage adaptive form larva enters into the bronchioles bronchioles to bronchi bronchi to trachea trachea to larynx larynx to here gullet friends i have not written but gullet to pharynx pharynx to esophagus esophagus to stomach stomach to small intestine back to small intestine mean back to means friends second time it enters into the small intestine means. then it undergoes fourth molting due to that we'll get young ascaris this young ascaris within 8 to 10 weeks what happens they change into adult male and female ascaris then see friends copulation takes place they release mammillary eggs like that the life cycle continues this about what friends life cycle of ascaris lumbricoides now once again you see this image friends see friends you'll get an idea okay friends now see friends see intestine with many ascaris this is heavy infection friends these are ascaris friends this is our intestine these are what friends ascaris now some important points for neat and mcq friends okay friends enteric parasite parasite that lives in the intestine of the host is called as enteric parasite or enterozoic parasite you know friends parasite manavuni pegu lo nivashisthe intestine lo nivashisthe dani enteric parasite antam friends or enterozoic parasite antam enteric parasites are also called as enterozoic parasites next friends ascaris is facultative enter one more important point friends ascaris is facultative enter what is facultative enter friends if oxygen is not available it respires anaerobically if oxygen is available it respires aerobically friends facultative enter ante ante friends oxygen labinchinappudu anaerobic respiration jarukuntundi oxygen labinchinappudu aerobic respiration jarukuntundi that such type of parasites are called as facultative anaerobes if oxygen is available they respire aerobically if oxygen is not available they respire anaerobically okay friends now come to monogenetic parasite you know friends parasite which completes its life cycle friends
parasite which completes its life cycle in one host is called as monogenetic parasite next one sexual dimorphism identification of male and female animals by seeing their external characters is called as sexual dimorphism next friends excretory pore and female genital pores are present on the mid ventral side this is important friends excretory pore and female genital pore are present on the mid ventral side of the ascaris in the neat and mc you will get a question friends are they present in the mid ventral side or mid dorsal side or mid lateral side they are present on the mid ventral side of the ascaris next friends pineal spicules are equal in size in ascaris and are equal in size which area see friends pineal spicules are equal in size in ascaris and unequal in size in which area next friends what is the role of the pineal spicules friends pineal spicules transfer sperms during copulation pineal spicules transfer sperms or male gametes from male to female friends next mammillated means what friends small protuberances or swelling or wave like mammillated eggs have outer albuminous protein layer friends the albuminous protein layer outer layer is called friend protein what type of protein it is it's albuminous mammillated has middle thick chitinous layer what is the thickest layer in the mammillated egg middle egg middle layer friends that is chitinous what type of cleavage is present friends cleavage is spiral determinate what type of cleavage is present in ascaris it is spiral determinate cleavage next if conditions are favorable see friends ascaris live about 6 years in the soil very very important if conditions are favorable the eggs of ascaris live nearly how many years friends 6 years in the soil number of moultings in the life cycle like ascaris is four moultings friends you know it first moulting takes place in the egg of ascaris when they are present in the moist soil okay friends now second and third moultings takes place in the lungs fourth moulting takes place in the intestine of man now very very important friends in the life history of ascaris second stage and fourth stage adaptive form larvae enter into the intestine of man which stages of the ascaris are entering into the intestine of man second stage adaptive form larva and fourth stage adaptive form larva are entering into the intestine of man ascaris is asymptomatic if the number of forms is less you know it friends hepatic portal vein carries blood from intestine to liver what is hepatic portal vein friends it's a blood vessel it carries blood from intestine to liver post cavel vein carries blood from liver to or from body parts to right atrium pulmonary arteries carry blood from heart to lungs that is particularly from right ventricle to lungs friends okay friends this is about the life cycle of ascaris lumbricoides okay friends okay friends thank you good day all the best please do subscribe my channel if you like it otherwise don't subscribe okay friends thank you friends good day